This is the ASX 200 and this is the move down um, overnight and it does look uh, impulsive so that means that we could view this as a um, as some type of rally to come into play here and then have another five waves down. So we can't go long until this is the 50-60% retracement level area here. So we couldn't go long um, until we've got support on top of 7,030, uh, 73,030 here, the top of group one here. Um, this move to the downside, even though I've got wave five here, may not be finished as well. It just depends on how um, you want to label this concophony uh, in here with all of this as well. But um, there is a five wave move here and the nice strong third wave here and it's uh, a little bit messy in here for wave four and then down for wave five. So we could have two more lows in here or we can have low in here. I don't think it's um, uh, tradable, but if you were going to trade, then shorting a new low would be the order of the day. Now, um, if we just drill out here for a moment and I'll just put this on 200 and go to the daily chart and just have a look at where we're here. So we've been like considering a few things here. We've been considering that um, we could look at the markets as an ABC down to here and put wave two here, but I've never really been able to justify an ABC correction in here. It's not like this move from the, the Feb, top of um, early Feb here, uh, when the dollar bottomed out, uh, we topped out here. We also topped out in the Australian dollar as well. And that's kind of worth a bit of a look um, at the moment as well. So it's got the same high over here at the same same date. And in this case, we can count it down as an A and a B and one, two, three, four, five here. So I think we've still got another little low to go in here for this. But one of the important things here is that it's already pulled back to its 50-60% here, 50% and 61.8% at the 65 cents here. So um, we could be ending this shortly. Now, if we're ending this shortly, then that's going to be positive for the uh, ASX 200 and also for the US dollar here as well, going back to my original count because... Uh, well, I'll just stay with this for a moment, but the A, the B, and then the one, two, three, four, and five here. So in this move here, <coughs> we've got um, a beginning, a middle here, and an end. So we're very close to this particular top here. Now, that may be the A, the B, and the C wave here, or we'll need to put this as wave one here, and pulling back for wave two here and then moving up. But either way, we should pull back in one way or another. We'll either pull back uh, in, an, in a little ABC pattern here and then push up, or we're going to just continue to the downside and we've got that ABC pattern. And that ABC pattern here is, um, is plausible. Even though we've overlapped here, um, we never overlapped on the wave four of wave one over here, and we're currently at our 61.8% here. So there's a good case for the Australian dollar to be coming into a low. That would mean the Dixie here would be having its ABC and finishing here as well. Now, I've got no proof of that whatsoever. And there's also other problems. Uh, this wave four overlapping this here. Um, I can sort of suck that up in, in, uh, in leverage markets. And also, too, that wave one here is longer than wave three. That's okay, but long as wave five here stays shorter than wave three, and currently it would be about that at the moment. So um, let's just see how this top and turns here. But if this pulls back here, um, it's like this move up here has put a dent in the commodity market. Um, so push them down while this is pushing up, but that may turn here, you know, that may turn. So we don't want to take the wrong opinion or point of view until um, we're sure. And also too, we're at 105, so five, the second strongest number. So we can have a classic trading levels pattern here, but this is where it can also fail at this here by making a high and never um, taking out that high again at that point. So it's going to be a little bit interesting. And I think we'll just need to wait it out and see. So I think patience is the solution for this um, at the moment. I'm also 
got, um, you know, the, if this is a top here, then we'll have a bottom in the S&P. And we've been, uh, as you may know, we've been looking for, uh, if you have a look at the indices video and the US stocks video, um, you know, we're looking for lows in, <clears throat> uh, in these markets, uh, uh, you know, in, in the apples and the S&P and the NASDAQ and so on and so on. Um, so we could have a turn at this point, but I have no evidence. But what I can say is that this little this is a little five wave structure up here and it's either finished or just about finished. And we're going to pull back. And when we pull back, that's going to give a bit of reprieve. But this pullback here, that's what concerns me a little bit. So if I come over to just remove that for a moment. Um, if we come to the Australian market here, so we, you know, we could put, you know, I could put wave B in over here, or I could, um, you know, I mean, as an as an A B C pattern to the upside, it's quite nice. Okay, so I could put wave B here, and then we come down uh, here for wave C, and then we finish off down here. But that would leave the Australian dollar very weak at that point, and. You know that would sort of make me think that we've got some other top in play up here at this point. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to wait it out. Um, when Jeremy Powell spoke, uh, he didn't change the narrative. Uh, it's still the same, but he's also speaking again uh, tonight in the next session. And we've also got the ADP figures coming in for the US, which are a bit of a precursor to the non-farms as well. So there's a lot of important little sort of events uh, happening um, uh, in the US that can push markets around. So coming back to this um, um, 100 tick area where we were at the moment. So this, this five waves down here is sort of the same as this five waves up here, right? So if this pulls back and then takes this top out here, like, you know, as gives us an ABC pad, takes that top out, well, that's going to give us the same over here, and then we'll need to be short over here for that. So we don't really want to go short down here, you know, because it was just, it's just going to snap back when the US dollar, this five wave, pulls back over here. So we have to wait. Now, um, it's possible that this comes, you know, all the way down here, and then that what that would do, well, that would send this market... <clears throat> Um, all the way going up here. <clears throat> but in this journey to the upside, we couldn't really trade it long as a position position um, as such um, until we had this 50-60% area here as a tested support. And we either had either five waves up to that point or we have uh, an ABC, but uh, in the C wave here, we have five waves that are completed and we're going to be moving above that five waves. So that would force it to be um, more than an ABC at that point. So <clears throat> I'm just thinking that um, that we need to wait for this to set up either on the short side or the long side here. Um, and that will just simply depend on what this market here is going to do, though, because it's a, a bigger market, um, obviously, and any market outside the US is affected by this, and uh, we will be too at this point. Now, there's a good case, too, for having a B wave here. Now, the banks are in a bit of a weak situation, but also the commodities are in a weak situation as well. So, uh, with the banks here, I'm not too sure about the banks. Um, this is CBA here, and I was looking at this as an A and a B and a C down here, but I'm just guessing. Um, but I did have a bit of a look around, and uh, let's, um, not that one, um, this one, and this one. <coughs> so, um, this is the banking sector here, the XXJ or the XB. BK here, but they're all both the same. So it does appear that we've got five waves here, then this move and this. So we could come down further on this, but when I was looking at um, some of them were a little bit messy. The CBA, uh, WBC was okay, but ANZ sort of had the best little move here. Um, so if I just go in here to say 15 minutes or something, is that okay at that point? So the 15 minute one here was quite interesting really because it's a bit of a, it just, all the other banks have done the same, but they don't have the same clarity. They've got, um, they've got their own, they've got different things going on, which is good. But this one here kind of gives us that nice one, two, three, four, five down here. 
and then the correction, and then another five waves down here. And then it's also showing five waves up here. So it'll just be interesting to see because um, uh, there's a bit of a classic trading levels pattern going on at this level here, the 25. So if we ever got support on the 25, then we'd be bullish in this market. So if I can go back to the daily chart just to show you the bigger picture here. Um, this, uh, I won't worry about all that over. Well, we can have a look. The thing here is that um, this, one of these, all the, any of these, this move down here is in three waves, right? So that makes um, whatever happens after that corrective, because this never made a new high here. So it, this here is a corrective pattern here. This is corrective. So we should be, even though this is all a little bit dodgy here, it does look like to me, if I had to label this here, it looks like to me as one, two, three, four, and five here. And then we've got some sort of ABC. Now, how big that ABC is going to get is another um, story here. But also, um, when the count is not clear, I just revert to my um, trading levels. And I say to myself, well, what have we got here? Is Can we go long here? And the, the answer is no, but at the same time, We've got the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and normally we look for an ABC pattern. And look at, yeah, it may come down here further. It might be that this is just one, two, three, four, five coming down here, and then we go up here and find support, you know what I mean? Um, and if we do get five down here, we may be able to go along at this point, you know. But if we do go up here, you know, and get on support here, well, then we'll be looking for long trades. But otherwise, um, we'll come down um, and we'll be down here further for this. So that's what I'm sort of thinking, um, that we could have something positive uh, for the banks. And ANZ has got a nice little ABC here. But as I mentioned, that could be uh, the A wave, the B wave, one, two, three, four, five, and moving down further. Or we it could be something a little bit bigger but um yeah anyway i think it's interesting just to look at it's got more clarity in terms of that little um uh, abc correction here now the other markets have got this as well on the 8th of feb i think there were or something like that 9th of feb or something so you could have a look at them and try to compare them and so on but i thought the ANZ had the nicest one and it does look like we've got five here but um We'll see if that low stays in place and we'll see if the S&P's got a low in place and pushes up. Because if we do get that five waves here, let's just say that, um, let's say the resources basically go down. Um, I don't mean today exactly, but they, they will be under pressure today. But just generally, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But if we do get some sort of little five wave move here, then we're going to have another little classic trading levels pattern here. We're going to have a nice setup over here for this, you know, and that would be rock solid to me at that point because the bigger picture and the smaller picture have all got it weaving in at the right way at that point, you know, um, and we'll have ended, we'll end up with a uh, three wave move here. Do you know what I mean? That's corrective. So we'll take out the top here. Um, but we need to, you know, we need to lock in that. We'd, it's not such a great five ways because when you look at it a little bit closely, we've got that little sharp bit there. So it can be an A and a B and then one, two, three, four and five up here for the C wave and then down at this point, pulling back to that 50, 60 percent. So it's not like we can do anything at this particular point in time. We don't have enough um, strength to do anything. And we're at that. Um, where are we here? We're at the 61.8% here anyway, roughly. Um, so we'll just see, we'll just see. Um, it's not to say that we're gonna get these five waves up here, so I'm gonna remove that. Um, <coughs> and it could certainly be down for one, back for two, and coming down at uh, three, four, and five, and then we then we come into play at this point, you know, which kind of match, which, which would be a, a better look, really, but um, we'll see how that, um, how that plays out. Um, so when we come to, so I don't know any, if CBA got on, if CBA got on top of 100, then we'll look for long trades. But um, so when we come to the resources now, because the US dollar pushed up um, and it may just turn, but it, it, it has put a bit of a dent in, in uh, some of the commodities. But with iron ore, um, and we look at FMG and Rio for that. And, and of course, BHP's got it there, but it's other BHP's got copper and a few other things, but basically the iron ore in the November here. So this would match up with wouldn't this low doesn't match up with BHP, but it matches up with um, FMG and Rio and all those those type of you know the iron ore stock. So um, 
it's pretty clear here that we've got 1 and 2, and then up for 3, and A, B, C for the fourth. I could have this as the A, B, C, D, and E over here, but it does give me a nice five-wave structure here, so I'm going to go with the A, B, C pattern here. And then if that's wave 4 here, this is because this is where Rio and all that will be, and I'm trying to find a top for them, you know. So I could look at this as 1, a, B, C for 2 here, it's come down pretty sharply, and, but this is clear as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So I've got wave 3 here, then wave 4 here, slight overlap with wave 4 here. So I'm thinking that we'll get a move here, and then 3, 4, and 5, and finish here. So look, the bottom line is, is I've either got a top in here for iron ore, or I've got the top in here and I'll need to put wave 4 over here. So I'm not quite sure which is the right one. I'll need to ponder it a little bit further. But a top is near. You know, we've got had this whole move up here. Um, so we're close to a top, right? So that's going to be the case for... Um, for the other guys, you know, for the for the Rios of the world. So with that in mind, um, BHP here, we could do the same as one, two, three, four, and five pushing up here. So we've either got, this is the same thing here, we've either got a, a top in play here, right? And then this is the, this is the A wave here, the B wave here, and we go down for the C wave here for wave two, or um, we go up here for one, um, and we drop back deeply today and then go up for three, four, and five, creating the first high above the level. Now, that would be nice because the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then the ABC pattern over here, you know, and then we can go up at that point. So it's something like that. Now, this doesn't have the, that's November low here, so this has got, more, got other history going on. But when we come into... Um, uh, Rio over here, it's got an October low here. Um, I think FMG's got the November low, but get, getting closer, you know. So I'm thinking that we're either here again, if we line up with iron ore, we're either here or we're here with this. I'm just not sure if I'm Arthur or Martha here on this one. So um, we'll probably drop today. Um, then we may get three, four, and five to finish this off and then get the ABC pattern. Or, or we just come down here for wave C and we've got wave 2 over here for this. So in one way or another, it's something like this. But the point being, the takeaway is, whichever way you want to view this, um, it's not ready. You know, it's not ready for traders that want to trade for, you know, a month. You know, it's fine for portfolios and longer term holds it doesn't really matter they got such great dividends most of these things so um, it doesn't really matter um, so yeah it's something like that and also Fortescue comes in on that November low you know so uh, yeah I mean I just don't know if we need to call this in as a top over here um, and then we, we're coming down and this is the A wave here so to speak you know um, or we're going to be over, um, you know, over there for the um, B wave, uh, B wave and C wave here. So, yeah, I just don't know exactly what we've got at the, I, I know, I know I'm close, but I haven't, um, I haven't got any solid answers for us just yet with this. So I'll just have to, um, just have to wait yeah so I'll put this back up here and this here um, but yeah we could be we could be there on this I'm just not quite sure yet anyway that's um that kind of sums up you know you should be able to get some idea of where we are with you know any of your stocks that you've got you know i mean there's going to be stocks that are different but that's this is the general gist of anything that's in that mining sort of sector there for for that um, and that will bring us over to let's just have a quick look at uh, the damage done for copper and so on so <coughs> this is copper copper stocks so this is um usd here so we've been looking at this. If we go to um, go to the copper futures first, um, 
we were looking at this being an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here for this for wave four, and then an impulse wave to the upside. Now, look, that could just hold here, and the US dollar could turn and come down, um, and then this would go up from this point, you know, um, and then we're 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 saved at that point. It hasn't taken out that at that low here for that point, you know. Um, but if it does take out this low here, then we will need to look at this here um, as one, two, three, four, and five at this point. And then we'll also, that will be one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll also have this one here as one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to be looking at this one as one and two, and then we'll have three, four, and five at that point. So then um, it's possible that we'll need to look at this one here again at that point too. So this would be one and two and three, four and five here. So it'll just depend on how, what that US dollar index is going to be doing. So that brings us down a lot further than we wanted to come down as a way for um, and how it will affect these stocks. So this is, uh, um, I mean, this one here, I haven't really put the work, I haven't done the work on this one here, but um, this could be the five waves up here that we're looking for in terms of, um, of um, um, sorry, iron ore, do you know what I mean? And we're actually getting our top put in, into here at, the, at this point, you know. <clears throat> it could be just in front of the market a little bit. And uh, this uh, English one here as well. We've had this as one and two and three and four. It's held up quite nicely. So it's not over until the big lady starts singing. So let's just um, let's just wait and not panic. Um, and this one uh, has held up as well as wave four. And it doesn't kind of matter in a way. I mean, where is that 38.2% um, or thereabout? So... Um, we're pretty much on it at this point here. So look, it could come down and test it again and so on, but um, we might end up with, you know, something of this nature. We'll see. We'll see. It's not that we're going to go long here anyway at this point, you know. I mean, we were if the tops were taken out, if we could justify five waves moving up here. It looks like five waves. Um, so we'll just see. Nothing to do here today, and let's just see if that dollar turned. This is nickel. It held up quite well, dropped and recovered a little bit, and we're looking at this as a B wave here with one, two, three, four, five here. So still got this extra little one here. Uh, maybe it's one and two, one and two. But anyway, we'll just see how this sits at this particular point. Um, uh, we're looking at IGO here, um, but IGO here, we're looking at it in terms of the A, the B, and the C, as you know. Looks like it's got a nice five-wave move up here. Um, <clears throat> let's see how this goes today, because if this drops here and makes a new low here, then, um, as I pointed out in the weekly chart uh, yesterday, that... Um, you know, this move that we've had back over yonder here as one, two here, <clears throat> nice corrective pattern here, typical wave four. So this would be a wave five coming up here or wave one. But uh, we've got one, one, two, three, four, five up here. So that would create um, a bigger correction because this, this correction here so far is too small, you know. So we could look for a bigger, a bigger move at that point, you know. <clears throat> um, and lithium, <clears throat> so uh, Chinese lithium stocks are expecting this to come down further, so we can still expect that to come down further. This is the other lithium stock here, it's uh, coming down a little bit further. Some of the, um, the big US ones here, um, PPL was down 7%. Um, here, so this will be some sort of ABC coming back into the $50 mark uh, area here. Um, that was extreme. Um, most of the other ones came down 2 and 3%, uh, all of these here. So these will all, all of these Aussie ones will still be uh, under pressure. I want to put the video out because it's 10 2 at the moment, and um, we are seeing a little bit of a bounce um, from the futures market opening. Uh, here, I don't know if that's just short covering the squeeze at the moment. 
Um, but let's just have a quick look at um, gold and so on. So US spot gold, <clears throat> it's come down and reacted to that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this as the A, the B and the C wave down. So we're going to be coming down further, I would imagine, um, for US spot gold and GDX and also Newcrest mining. So we can now look at Newcrest Mining as going to have a little um, move down here for this. Now, it may not may not be the case. It looks like we've got a little impulse wave here, but we'll see. It's definitely going to drop today, but we'll just see if it takes out that low. If it takes out that low, well, then we'll be down at $21 uh, in due course. And we'll need to look at it like that. And the uh, this is the DJ, so we normally look at the Australian dollar, so over to the Australian dollar. So with wave one up here, the A, the B, the one, two, three, four, five, beautiful structure. Um, so uh, yeah, we need to work out five waves from wave four to wave five. I still think there's a little bit more here because this is the longest bar here would be part of wave three. So we still need a wave four and a wave five to come down. So I see we need one and two here and this would be one and two, three, four. So we're still gonna come down closer towards the 65 on this. Um, yeah, but this is what we were looking for coming down into the box. Um, this is the structure we were looking at. Um, so I think everything is looking okay at this point. So we'll start to drill in here a little bit and I'll also probably need to look at this over here as a way forward possible over here as well. So I'll just put these two here and we'll just research that. So we need to research the bottoms. So it's gonna take a while to land. Um, it won't be until next week, um, but that's where that is. So um, more bearish pressure on the Australian dollar for the short term and Basically, everything will depend on the uh, on the Dixie. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Okay, alrighty, cheers.